Some are well known, some are not. All are worthy of a mention in this new book called Oldest St. Louis. Author and historian Nene Harris wanted to make a list of the oldest institutions, pieces of landscape, unusual buildings, businesses, and more. There was just one rule. It still has to exist today. It has to be something that has continued, like uh, A. E. Schmidt billiards tables. That company has been in this business since 1850. And now they're in the sixth generation of the family is making billiards tables. Nini is born and raised in South City, has explored St. Louis through and through. After all of her research on local attractions, she has this to say about St. Louis. This city is not just a treasure for those of us who are lucky enough to live here. This city is a national treasure. You look at its landscape and its architecture, the heritage in our cultural institutions. We have the amenities of a great, huge city, but we are a moderate-sized city. So because we're moderate-sized with all these amenities, it makes the good life much more accessible day in and day out to regular St. Louisans. In her book, she takes you on a food tour. You'll learn about the oldest soul food diner, which is Diner's Delight on Compton Avenue, the oldest kosher butcher and deli, which is Cone's Kosher Restaurant, Deli and Meat Market on Old Olive Street Road, and the oldest Polish sausage shop called Pekatoski's European Style Sausage on North Florissant. One day I was in Pekatoski's and there was a gentleman from New York. He visits St. Louis regularly and um, his last stop on every visit is he has a small cooler and he goes to Pekatoski's and he loads up the cooler with Pekatoski's sausage because he hasn't found anything like it in New York. Isn't that wild? If you prefer old buildings, you better believe Nini has you covered from the oldest house in St. Louis County, which is in Florissant, to the oldest hardware store called Mark's Hardware on North 14th Street. These places are, they're not Disneyland recreations. These are actual portals into the past. So perhaps you are such a St. Louis history buff that you already knew about all of these places. While well, Nini is bound to introduce you to something new, I mean, old. The oldest vigil where sisters have been praying continually night and day since 1928. Where is that, by the way? This in North City near O'Fallon Park. And the sisters are called the Pink Sisters because they wear pink and white habits. And the chapel radiates just pink. It's, it's in pinks and bronzes and marbles. And um, there are all these golden cherubs at the top of the, the columns. It is this remarkable, serene place, only about 100 yards from Highway 70. So whether this book is just a good read or takes you on a wild scavenger hunt, you can choose your own adventure with Oldest St. Louis. And you can take part in Old St. Louis Book Talk on Sunday, November 15th at 1 p.m. at the Campbell House Museum. That's on Locust Street. And for more information, you should call 314-421-0325.